So the smallest member of the uh, Ilka family, the Ilka 4. Leo, you've had a fantastic week. It's nearly time to pack up, but before that, congratulations, national champion. Tell us all about it. Um, well, it was quite an interesting uh, week. We had a whole variety of conditions from like sub five knot racing on uh, Wednesday through to nearly 20 knot racing on Tuesday. Uh, it's been quite interesting also between the courses, how on Hailing Bay, the tide's a lot more consistent along the course, but then in Bracklesham, it becomes a lot more tidal dominated, which is what we had today. So which did you prefer? You probably shouldn't say that, but did you have a preference? Uh, I tended to prefer Bracklesham really, because it meant that the more data you got at the start of the day, the better you would tend to get on, which um, suits basically how I do my pre-start routines. What's uh, your plans after this? Uh, so after this, I'm probably going to move into the six into the UK, just to get some really tight competitive racing and some bigger, heavier, more weight in the sail kind of thing. But internationally, I suspect I was keeping the four since I'm still under 16 and got some time left in that. So what does tomorrow, what does tomorrow, what does next year's season look like then? Uh, it probably looks like doing a lot of six qualifiers along with six Euros next year and probably four Worlds next year is probably the two key events. So the, the four Worlds, that'll be your, your last event, last Worlds in the four? Yes, that'll be my last event in the four in Porto in Portugal about five days after my GCSEs finish. So all right. it should be fun. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how this all works out. Well, very best of luck for next season Thank and you. congratulations really superb series. Thank you very much. Hi, my name's Stefan. I'm from Australia, from Perth. I sail the Ilka 7. I'm 20 years old. Can you tell us a little bit about the championship you did before this? Yeah, so I was the under 21 Europeans in Norway. Um, came away with the silver medal there, just missed out on the gold. So it was good to uh, one up that here. And it came right down to the wire. It was literally on count back. Can you tell us uh, your thoughts going into today? Yeah, well I was a little bit behind on points um, going into today, so I knew I just had to get out there and put some good scores on the board in the first two. And then third race, um, things really tightened up, so it was sort of whoever won the race was going to win the series. So yeah, I was lucky to get back through the fleet after a tricky first start wind and got away with the win. So did that affect your strategy at all going into that final race? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I had quite a good idea of where the other guys were and tried to stay close to them and yeah, turned out pretty well. Well, I mean, English expression doesn't matter whether you win by an inch or a mile. Uh, winning's winning. Uh, what's next for you? We've got the uh, Ilka 7 World Championships in Australia next year, I know. Next for me is the Under-21 Worlds in Morocco. It should be an awesome fleet there and really excited for the racing. Philip, congratulations. Thanks,